Hello, my name is Patrick Webb. I'm a technical consultant for plaster manufacture and installation. And I have an upcoming lecture on the chemistry of plaster and heritage building. So, giving a, a series of videos that give some excerpts from that presentation. And the first one that we'll discuss is the basics. What is plaster? The Greeks used the word emplastos, uh, meaning to daub on, and that's where we get our English word uh, for plaster and plastering. But of course, plaster has a, a much longer history. We know that the Egyptians were using plaster some 4,000 years ago, and then in the area that is now modern-day Turkey, uh, people were using plaster uh, some 13,000 years ago. And no doubt the history of plaster goes much, much further from the dawn of civilization. Well, plaster is a, um, a wet slurry that's characterized either by a mechanical set and or a chemical set. And we'll be talking about the, the characteristics of those various sets in further videos. However, um, sticking again to the basics, I wanted to talk briefly about the basic components that make up a plaster. Um, they're always a binder. Most plasters are kind of named by their binder. For example, some of the binders are lime, gypsum. There are a few other heritage uh, binders that we'll be talking about in our next video. So commonly you'll hear the expression a lime plaster or a gypsum plaster. So most plasters are known by the, the binder, the component that holds all of the aggregates and other materials together. Speaking of aggregates, that's another component that most all plasters contain. They can be uh, just common sand. They can be components such as glass. And then there's a variety of, uh, of other aggregates that are used. Um, plasters also contain water to make them fluid, make them workable. And then a variety of fibers are sometimes used to increase their tensile strength. Some examples of fibers that are commonly used would be hemp, and uh, today fiberglass is a common um, component, even though it wouldn't really be considered a, a heritage material. Common types of plaster, or categories, in English at least, when we hear the term plaster, usually it indicates use in interior. By contrast, stucco usually means something that would be used in exterior. And by English I mean like the US and, and Canadian markets. Mortar um, is also a plaster material but is associated more with masonry. It's the um, binding or setting bed material for materials such as bricks, CMU block, adobes, and so on. So our next um, video will be getting more into specifically the various binders and what their characteristics are.